So the, <laughs> the stuff that's coming through your television now that we used to call TV is changing a lot, right? That pipe now includes Netflix and Amazon and all these other companies that aren't, you know, quote unquote TV, if you will. And now they're getting into our game, right? Thursday nights, you see NFL games yeah. on, you know, streaming on digital, which is something, God, five years ago, you would have never even, no chance in hell, right? So here we are with Twitter and Amazon, you've got all these new bidders, basically. Like, Ray, what does that mean for what you guys do? Um, well, for what we do, it's competition. Yep. And competition usually raises prices. Okay. Um, and so one of the issues that is imbalanced right now is the fact that um, rights fees continue to go up and ratings are, again, a whole lot better than everything else, but they're not, you know, they're kind of flat to down to up to. So it, it's, it's tough. It's a tough environment to be in. Um, Simply put, you know, the fact is, to what Christine's saying, what we have to try to figure out, and what we're trying to figure out at Telemundo and NBC Universal, is co-viewing, right? And how many other ways, while you're watching a game, are you possibly able to be served a commercial? What does co-viewing mean? Co-viewing means you have your iPad on. Does it mean you have your phone in your hand? Does it mean that you're watching the game and you're talking to your friends? So I mean, that's that's one of the things that's going on. Is right, we have to figure out how to make it more snackable, how to how to deal with folks who are just so distracted by so many things and continue to keep them watching our brands and buying things.